Nakore Apparel is a lifestyle brand inspired by and created for those who unabashedly seek, speak, and live in truth. Nakore is the African Adinkra symbol for truthfulness, and the clothes speak truth in all its forms with the ultimate aim of love and justice. If you're down to expand the culture, break barriers, and eradicate injustice wherever you find it, then Nakore Apparel is the brand for you. Go to NakoreApparel.com. That's N O K O R E Apparel.com. Nakore Apparel for Truth Tellers. Drunk Mind Sober Thoughts Podcast. Yo, 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 yo. This is DJ Brainstorm. Yeah. On the mic with you loud. Yeah. Now, live and direct with episode number 379 of the Drunk Mind Sober Thoughts Podcast. The yes, sir. MST Podcast is back. Thank you to everybody tuning in right now on Facebook Live and on YouTube, the yes. Dual Podcast. And thank you. To everybody that is tuning in throughout the week on uh, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, the TuneIn Radio app, SoundCloud, all them shits. No Mooshka. Mm-hmm. No None. No. Anywhere, wherever, <laughs> however you get your podcast, we want to thank y'all for tuning in this week. Playboy, how's you feeling? <laughs> feeling great, man. How Play- is you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling great, man. Playboy the DJ, Playboy DA DJ. Uh, another show, another week, you know, special week. You know, yeah. let's, let's get it. Dev, how, how is you feeling? Got I'm all feeling, the English teachers mad. I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling good, man. What's up, Toya? What's happening? She said, what's up in the chat? What's happening? I'm um, feeling good, man. Uh, ready to go. Ready to have some fun. Recap a bunch of stuff. She's talking about South Carolina, Don Staley. Shout out to them, the national yeah, champs. Yeah, yeah. Cleveland, boy. For, for, for us being such a Cleveland little city, we fire. always the epicenter of somebody, some shit, yeah, boy. Somebody, I heard somebody saying it's like we just be getting stuff at this at the right time. I mean, it's, it's, but it's it, amazing. Other cities don't even get like... They, for, for a small city, we get a lot of shit. And that's why, that's why I did the Final Four this week because it's yeah. like... I know we have, yeah, it's like we don't, we don't, it'll be another 10, 15 years before you get another one Mm -hmm. in the city. I know it's the Women's Final Four. I know we've had, I think we had one before, like with Tennessee and over here, like 2007 or something like Mm -hmm. that, but. It, by the time it come back again, I ain't gonna want to go downtown for that shit. And it's always, it's like every year, whether it's the Democrat, I mean, uh, Republican National Convention, you know, but like, little shit like. The the fifty year and seventy five year NBA All Star games just fall, to fall here fall perfectly in Cleveland. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's just it's little stuff, man. So um, I, I I love the fact that I love the fact that the city gets put on display mm-hmm. and people get to experience Cleveland in a way that we cherish it for because mm-hmm. it's really not people make it seem like these other cities got spaceships in them. It's just not the case, man. Yeah, every a city is a city. Yeah, Cleveland and, is not a bad city, and we got to right. start taking the big cities off the map. I mean, like we mm-hmm. little cities ain't trying to be the big city. So exactly. we know New York is New York. We know mm-hmm. Chicago, Chicago. We know L.A. is L.A. We know Miami ain't like the hugest city, but it's fucking Miami. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta, so we, you know, Atlanta. He, we got we not trying to be those cities or whatever. But like, nope. it, we a small town with three professional sports teams. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't you can't get around that. And like you said, we, we get a lot of stuff that, that a lot of people would like to do. India's another one of those cities. They get Final Fours and they yeah. get, well, well, yeah, they get, I think they get Final Fours and stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, but they, you know, they, they get the, they got the combine up there and, and, mm-hmm. and things like that. I think they got the draft. Now. Every got now the draft. and then, no, Detroit is doing Detroit, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, Detroit yeah, got the draft yeah. coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, it's just, hey, man, shit happens, man. And, uh, but yeah. it, was, it was, the city put on the show. I was, I was when I was saw, watching the game today. Uh, we're, we're, uh, I'm feeling good too. We got, I know we got to get to the weeks and everything, but it's like yeah. I, they was doing like an aerial shot. And I was just like, I always say this in the summer when I'm riding down 90, coming down here on Sundays and it's sunny. I would tell my how the water, the way the sun hits the water up here and stuff like it is just on sunny days. It's so beautiful going past the lake and yeah, stuff. It is. And they were showing overhead shots. I'm like, damn, the city look good. Yeah, today. it do, man. Yeah. yeah. It's not a bad, like, when you go to these other cities and you see them, they, I mean, I give them credit. It's a lot, a lot of nice cities, but Cleveland is one of them, man. Mm-hmm. It has its perks, man. It's, uh, I'm, I'm almost, we, we talked about it last week, but, um, I don't want to get back into it and hash it all the way out, but I really do hope they build that stadium out by the airport. Mm-hmm. And we can really turn our downtown into something that's like, yeah. 
I would. I just. I just want that part where the stadium is to end up being like a Navy Pier type situation, right? And if we're able to do that, that takes us to a whole nother level. So, mm-hmm. but anyway, yeah, man, feeling good, ready to go. How you feeling, man? Uh, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, tired. Yeah. You know, we we, yeah. we we about to rewrap the the you know everything, but we'll just go around real quick. Play how was your week? Uh, week was cool, man. Regular, you know. I see it. Just uh, just work, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever. Just preparing for the event Saturday. So, work was cool. I mean, week was cool, period. Nope. Slow motion, man. All right. Dev, how was your week? Uh, my week was cool, man. Um, yeah. We had a uh, – it was it was a shorter week for me just because the kid was off. But, uh, you know, it, it got capped off. Pause. Whoa. Yeah. No diddy. But uh, right. Pie and R&B last okay. night, which was – Absolutely amazing. I don't want to even – my week was okay. I, yeah. I, I want to spend all the recap week time talking about yeah, we're about to get to that. So we can jump into that as a, as a collective. Um, yeah. um, um, I'm going to fuck up. No, I'm just – yeah, go, go. Let's take – whoever um, want to uh, take what, 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 the, the week. Like I said, the week was cool, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know we got to recap pod and R&B, but mm-hmm. I did do um, – again, I did do the final four on Friday. Mm-hmm. At least I did, I did the semifinal yep. games. Um, it's – we got we got to take a second. Yeah. I know we've talked about let's it amongst do, ourselves. Let's talk about it. We gotta take a second, we, and, and I and and you watching the Facebook? One of, yeah, oh, I got, you got, it. Okay, I got, okay. I got We gotta take a second. We gotta, I, we gotta give Caitlyn her piece. Yes, I mean like like we gotta. I, there's Caitlyn Clark fatigue. I am. I, I don't. I, I am. I, I don't I, think. I think you have Caitlyn Clark fatigue. I think a lot of people got Caitlyn Caitlyn Clark fatigue. I think black people got. We was rooting for LSU and then South Carolina fatigue. Nah, I just got Caitlyn Clark fatigue. Oh, Probably because wow. I've been watching a lot of Ohio State women's basketball this year too, and you just get tired. Wow. They had they had a couple really good games this year and stuff like that. I mean, so, I feel the thing but, about it is she didn't made it to the professional ranks. I don't I don't have fatigue. Yet. No, see this 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 is where I say it came from. For me, I, like I told you, I feel like they, you know, we had that four year window of us playing go to state in the finals, and uh, and and. You know, Kate, uh, Steph, and everybody was like the golden child. You know, mm-hmm. you just and but we got this four years of that smash into a year and a half of this whole run with Caitlin, the, the okay. run to the championship game last year, and then this year, and it's like it's just been rammed down our throats. Pause, no diddy. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was <laughs> just like it's just it's, I, I but watching her play, even in person, it's like her passes is just on yeah, point. She, and the way she shoots these shots, and it's just, yeah. it's, she's a, she's just different. Yeah. And uh, I mean, even Friday, you know, they all the pressure of the world is on you. Mm-hmm. Hell, even the way she came out today, but all mm-hmm. the pressure of the world is on you. Everybody wants you to not get to this point, even though that's that that arena was like seventy five percent LSU, uh, mm-hmm. uh, seventy five percent Iowa mm-hmm. uh, on Friday. But and then you come out drop a smooth forty. Yeah, you know, we got to give her her peas for that. You mm-hmm. know, I I, I I can have fatigue and still sit there and say, yo. That you you've never seen a type of player like her in the women's in the, in the women's you, game. We've never seen anybody like that in the men's game to lead the nation in scoring and assists. She is one on one, but this 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 is why I don't have it yet because I haven't seen her. It's the journey. Like I'm not. I can see people having. Let me put let me put this. I can see people having Tim Tebow fatigue when he was at Florida because right. anybody who knew the game knew he could not play quarterback in the NFL. So you knew that they was like ramming this person down your throat who. No, did he? Yeah, who like wasn't gonna be an NFL Me quarterback? <laughs> what? No, I keep saying no, did he? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, no, don't worry about it. It's, it's gonna come back too. But uh, <laughs> but with her, like I'm intrigued. The reason why I'm I want to see how this translates to the professional to the pros. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I saw Diana Taurasi and him talking. Like I mean, listen, is she Diana Taurasi said, look, you can dominate 18 year olds, but we grown women. Like oh, the oh, shit talking is start like right. I ain't got zero. Them they they, they waiting for her. So yeah. oh, all yeah. of them is waiting for her to get to the WNBA. And I'm telling you, when they tip off and the Indiana Fever is on ABC game one with her and Aaliyah Boston playing against whoever, probably Deanna Tarossi, if they got some sense. Mm-hmm. Deanna Tarossi and Phoenix and, and Brittany Grider versus Aaliyah Boston and Kaylin Clark, the world will be tuned in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially with the shit talking she just had. I just want to see this translate to the WNBA. Mm-hmm. And if she can do this in the WNBA, she might go down as one of the best players ever. It's the only reason why I don't have that. And another part of it, I think is, I know this is whatever. Maybe it's, maybe people might see it as a negative because you can't say shit positive in 2024. Right. I was not a huge women's basketball fan. So it's all new to me. So 
I wasn't watching every Ohio State women's basketball game. Mm-hmm. So I'm new over the past two months or so. So, of course, I had my eye on people playing. I knew mm-hmm. I watched the National Championship and Final Four last year, but I have been tuned into every game from like the thirty round of 32 on. Yeah, yeah. And even before the tournament, I was watching some games. So I'm. this is all fresh. This is all new. This is – I've been watching the game of basketball forever. And, like, watching her is like – this reminded me of – she – this reminded me of LeBron versus different teams during his heyday. The only problem – the only difference is she hoops like Steph, but she's in a LeBron situation. She don't have the horses. Mm -hmm. And people was like, oh, South Carolina – Lost State, because they did lose their starting That's five like, from last year. I think they're top six but players from North Station. But the bench and the freshmen, it's almost like Al- they're Alabama. But we're all fresh and new to co- women's college basketball. So it's like, oh, they lost. Yeah. I they lost. Uh, it would be like they lost. Uh, what was his name? They lost Mark Ingram. Nigga, but Derrick Henry was the freshman. What are, we, what are we talking about? You lost Mark Ingram, and then Derrick Henry became the fucking. You lost a Heisman Trophy running back and a better one. But they we'll still got. But they still got to become. I know, but it's Alabama. Become Derrick Henry. Yeah, though. but it's Alabama. They yeah. have Alabama. They have they have them niggas on the bench. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like Derrick Henry's on the pine. Yeah, ins- insert, to play. insert any major level. Yeah, football. But they're Alabama. Whatever. They're yeah. not just yeah. any major yeah. level. They yeah. got like the one, four, and six best player on their bench dating back to, like, 2021. Yeah. And they all just waiting to play, waiting to play, waiting to play. So you can get rid of the starting quarterback, and you just replace Jalen Hurts with Tua Tagovailoa. Right. And you just keep the fucking train going. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's not even like – there's no fall off. There's no, like – like, Iowa is about to go 13 and 19. Oh, no, they're about to in, in the toilet next year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> South go. Carolina there. might end up going 37-0 and 0 again. Yeah. Because yeah, they, they got M- Malaysia Fawali. Yeah. They got uh, uh, Tessa, Tessa Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. They, st- they still got a squad. Um, you know what I'm saying? Bree they Hall, still- Bree Hall will be back. Chloe Kitts Yeah, will be Raven back. Johnson will be back. Yeah, everybody be yeah, like, everybody yeah. except for Camila Cardoza is coming back. So yeah. they'll fuck around and. They, 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 they might lose a couple next year, but you know. Yeah. They'll, they'll they'll have some but shout out to Dawn, too. I'm sorry, you got some? Shout out to Dawn. Shout out to Dawn. I mean, she. I was going to say that. She's a hell of a coach, man. And and I know you have to get the talent to win games. Like, people. People don't win. Wrangling that talent is hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People yeah. don't win. Like, people talk about how great or bad Phil is, you know, Phil Jackson, because he got those, like, well, he didn't win without this person, whatever. But nobody didn't win without those people. Yeah. Like, exactly. you have to have I a motherfucker. I, I hate that shit. You have, even with great players, well, well this guy didn't win until he got this. Guy. But you got to have somebody, you can't take every <laughs> shot and make every shot and get every rebound and get every block and, and make every catch and throw every <laughs> pass. You make. I mean, you got to have somebody there with you. Yeah, you you have to have some yeah, talent with you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I hate, I, 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 I hate those arguments. Shout out to Don. She did, she did a really good job down there in, in South Carolina because, I mean, look, you still got to – they could be Alabama, but these little freshmen at some point yeah, got to play. Yeah, you still got to be Nick Saban. You still, still got to be able to – They still got to play. The, one, the, the, hardest people to, the hardest people to coach is the motherfuckers that know they good. Yeah. Yeah. I, it comes from – I mean, I ain't only got very limited experience in coaching, but I can tell you the easiest players to coach is the go-hearts. Pause. Yeah. Right. The ones that know no they ain't dick. that good, Jesus. but they go crazy in practice. They want to impress the coach. The nigga who know he going to St. Ignatius, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it is, this is the most difficult. Right. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is the most difficult to coach the ones that are good and know they good. It's like trying to date somebody that she knows she cute. Yeah, it's she different. knows she's beautiful. Right, I'm trying to approach like she or it's knows. Like having a conversation with your wife, and she know you ain't going nowhere. It's just, <laughs> the mouth get a little slicker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden you a fucking you a fun, you a funny guy. You know what <laughs> <right>? <laughs> oh, you're gonna be at the funny bone next week, huh? <laughs> huh? Open mic oh, night, huh? Headliner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when are the tickets going on sale, huh? Because you're obviously going on tour. <laughs> okay. Clearly you're a comedian, man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, when they know when. When they know they the shit. They, they, don't got, they don't give a fuck no more. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's an amazing coaching job by her to keep everybody in line. She was saying they was she was saying it after the game. The uh, person was asking the question. She was like, "You said this is the most difficult job, you know, you've done." Yeah. You probably had. She had to not only think about if her top six players left, and these motherfuckers was this good, and they didn't play as much last year. You got to not only coach the players from last year, the Leah Boston's and them. You also got to make sure these players is cool, don't transfer, don't talk yeah. too crazy, because they know they nice. They know they nice. 
And then he can go anywhere in the country and be the best player on another team. And so you, that's a hell of a coaching job, to be able to coach that team last year, keep these kids under wraps, keep them, and then raise them up this year and take them to an undefeated 38-0 season. That's a hell of a job. Man. Right, right. So shout out to her. Shout out to them. Again, it was a good weekend in the mm-hmm. city. A um, lot of stuff going on with that. But let's do it. We've kind of talked about it we, real quick. We've kind of talked about it. I'm going I'm to do my best. Let's see how many we can name real quick. So, right now, before the WNBA draft, Caitlin Clark, mm-hmm. Camilla Cardoza. I'm just naming women's basketball players in college. Angel Reese Angel is getting Reese, drafted. Angel Reese, um, Old girl from Ohio State is getting drafted. They said top 10. Yeah. Um, Juju, uh, you got Juju Watkins. You oh, got, you're talking about just, just, just name players. Juju, oh, just name Juju players. Watkins, okay. Paige Beckers, uh, Malaysia Paige Fawali. Yeah. Um, it's a bunch. So, what am I not? Like Flage, eight? Did you say Flage? I said Flage. I'm like yeah. eight right now, and I'm just – Cameron Brink from Stanford. She nice. Yeah. Name me five male college basketball players. I can't. I got Rob Dillingham. Zach Eddy or Edie. Zach Eddy. You don't even know how to pronounce the name. We know how to pronounce Flauge. <laughs> um, DJ Burns, because he became the big nigga yeah, from NC State. Yeah, 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 but he yeah, ain't yeah. going to play yeah. left tackle for the fucking Raiders. He yeah, he needs to, need to get a switch sports. Yeah. Um, I, what is happening right now? It's one and done. What is, niggas are going straight, but real quick, I just want to, from 1995 until 2023, I mean, no, until 2020, 2019, niggas was able to go straight from high school. Yeah, right to the pros. Why all of doing? a sudden now is the one and done rule, like, decimating college basketball? Because well, I, I feel like most of the time when people went to school, they had to stay. They went to school because they didn't have the option. So they were going to stay at least a couple of years. Every now and then you had a Mike Conley that, that pops mm-hmm. that, you know, he went to school. You thought he was going to be there two, three yeah. years. And then all of a sudden, nah, he had this run and now he got to yeah. go. And shout out to Mike Conley because Mike Conley been around, been around for like 20 fucking years and yeah. still playing. This nigga. Uh, and still uh, getting buckets. The nigga with oh shit. Here, again, here I go again. The nigga with dreads <laughs> from uh, Ohio State, the running back. What was his name? Some Edwards or something like that. Nigga was like he was there for. Pepe Pearson, too. Oh, yeah, Pepe Pearson. Yeah, yeah. like, nigga, Mike Conley been in the NBA. You're like, nigga, you still in the NBA? Yeah, yeah. Averaging eight and six, ass nigga. Like, go home, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you still in the NBA? But, yeah, but, but I, I think that's what it is more than anything. Because, but even when the – even when you – um. but, see, I, I, I think the problem is that, again, with the college thing, like, we, people used to be able to go to college. And so you would go if you had that talent. Boom. But then you had to go for one year. You was out. So again, like you, those guys that go for one year yeah. used to just go straight to the league. And so it's like, so yeah, you, not, now a team might pop up and bubble for a year. But like, where was I know Bama was okay this year in yeah. men's hoops. But but, like, but homie from last year that's in the league right now that that they, you know gave the Cavs buckets about a week and a half mm-hmm. ago. You know, like I just back think in this the day, year the players shitty. It could be that too. Because because they got Cooper Flag coming in next year. Yeah. And the year after that, you got the right. Boozer twins coming in. I just think this was a shitty year. Yeah. I think this was a horrible basketball year. And the start, this was almost like the Browns moved and the Indians was good. It was like college basketball perfect. It was, a perfect storm. was shitty. And then the it women's. Perfect, it was yep. the perfect storm. And then the women's team just had stars. And good for them. And good for them. And good for them. Yep. And I know we about to move on. Last thing I want to say about this, too, is that mm-hmm. men, well, I know we talked about it last week, whatever. Get out of y'all misogyny, man. Yeah. Like, get out of this shit. Like, the way. You know they. Oh, let's talk about hell, it. All this shit happened this week, right? The the LSU Iowa game on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know, and then the reaction on Tuesday. Let's talk about this. Fucking talk Emmanuel about this Acho, man. Okay, let's talk where, about this. We're gonna be on opposite where, sides on this. No, no, we might be. We might be. We might be. But but but. So my take on this is that sports are sports, mm-hmm. and it's built on a lot of fucking bravado. Let's just say bravado, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because nobody goes out on this floor or whatever in any in any respect to whatever you do. You don't go out there thinking that somebody's really better. Now, you might know in your head. I, 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 that's why listening to um, Jeff T talk about stories, whatever, is so refreshing. Because he knew what his place was in the league. He knew when people was better, whatever. He's, he didn't have no delusions of grandeur or whatever. Mm-hmm. It, or whatever. But, you know, it's built on a lot of bravado. You know, Emmanuel um, Acho. And so he came out there on, on Monday. Just so He was basically kind of, kind in my in my opinion, kind of, Going at Angel because she was kind of, you know, she was, well, she, she had some tears during the press conference or whatever on Monday. Mm-hmm. You know, her teammates were defending or whatever and, and, and everything like that. Uh, my take on that is this as a whole with the Angel thing is that, yeah, like she always said, heaviest, you know, what's the saying, heaviest the crown. Yeah, the crown. Yeah, yeah. whatever. It's like, it's Keep like, that in mind. Like, 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 she, start talking. like, like she did welcome a lot of that attention. On, like, she didn't, I know people were, oh, did she? To, I, I know a lot of people were coming to her, to her side and saying that, that she didn't. 
She didn't ask for it, and she really didn't. All she did was won the championship and talked so, talk a little shit the way people do. Let these women have their space to talk their shit. You know what I'm saying? Let them play, go out there and play ball and talk that shit if they want to because because nobody ever gets on. The reason yes, we, we do. The, the, no, no, hold on. Oh, hold, yes, hold we on, do. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, me, yes, the, we do. Hold, hold on, hold on. No. The, the reason we know what this is, what is that? Dame time. That's Dame time because Dame has hit game winners. Yeah. And that nigga has waved at a motherfucker as, yeah. he, as he kicked your ass. It, it's, it's deserved and you earned yeah. that right. And niggas so also they should, and niggas also bl- blitz Dame because he left to, he left the Trailblazers and tried to piggyback on to the fucking Bucks and they ain't playing well. They not playing well. But niggas But go- see but to, but that gets me to my point, Dev. See, so we probably not going to disagree we, more than you think. Mm-hmm. That gets me to my point. If it's on the court, it's on the court. If we going to say she got cuz I but, think I actually feel oh, like oh, I, I, can't I, wait. I I actually feel like Angel's game is a touch limited cuz mm-hmm. she she had yeah, good points. She yeah. doesn't have any offensive, really, really no offensive moves. If you really want to, if yeah. we want to talk basketball, yeah. she don't. So if we, if it's on the court, let's leave it on the court and talk about that. But but if she's talking about the attack she's getting stuff like that, that's for men and women. I, it, like people got to get off of this thing of being yeah. on social media and I'm gonna yeah. jump in your DMs and I'm gonna I'm gonna call you names and I'm gonna attack you and stuff like that. Or whatever. Like people got to get out of that. But like if you want to talk about her game, talk about her game or what. She actually had a pretty good game on Monday. She had really she had good a hell game of a game on Monday. Yeah, really good game she had on Monday. And 20. But don't talk about her like, oh, you gotta be this and you gotta be that. It's like like no, like talk about her game, fair game. Once well, she that started, was, that, one, was, that was too that was a what? Yeah, that was money. That was yeah, money. Yeah. That was money. But once you start getting into the personal attacks and stuff like that, that's where I gotta get that's where I got a problem All with. Alright, well let's talk about it. And and and, and, I, and, I, I, and I and I do feel like men gotta get out of their misogyny with All stuff right, or so whatever. Can I rebut this one a little bit? Can I rebut a little bit? Yes. I am well, well, well uh, after last week's documentary, this might be a reboot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A reboot. <laughs> a reboot. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let me before we before we uh oh, it was on Shade Room, it wasn't on hers. Um the it, it was on the Shade Room. It was on Shade Room. Okay. It wasn't on hers. So um I'm I i i can not pull up the pictures. I'm, so y'all just have to imagine the pictures. Um Everybody, okay. You ever you ever watched the show with your girl, and then you tried to come in and like mansplain or man brain the show she was watching, and it's like nigga either come in and watch the housewives argue, or shut the fuck up, because this is the show. You can come in here and try to turn this show into the Browns versus the Steelers and make it logical. And I should do this on third and four, and I should, or if it's third and thirteen, or I should run the ball. The I should throw the ball. If you want to over logical this show, whatever the fuck you want to call it, then don't come in here and watch it with your woman, because she's watching two women argue and then throw drinks on each other. And this is the fucking atmosphere. And if you want to be a part of it, then enter the atmosphere and be in it. But don't try to enter the world of competitive sports. And suckify it. Make it some sucker shit. Niggas get smoke. When Dennis Rodman decides to wear a wedding dress and ride down fucking the middle of, of Times Square, niggas stop talking about his rebounds and start wondering if he fucks niggas. That's what happens in sports. So if you start putting on the king, hold on, but, but hold that, on. I let you finish. Have, I let you, you finish. You, let me you know, finish. You know what you're right. You know what you're right. <laughs> let me finish. You know what the you're moment, right. The moment you're right. you start doing shit off the court, it's open season. The moment you pull guns out of the strip club, John Morant, our conversation to lead Sports Center, Undisputed, Nightcap, The Breakfast Club, Brilliant Idiots, and DMST Podcast is going to be about your guns and not your layups. That's the world you've entered into. Mm. So don't do shit off the court. Don't be taking pictures from behind and tapping your booty to show that it's jiggling. And then say, I'm getting sexualized. You are, and I apologize, but you turned around and flipped your booty. I'm not saying I'm going to do it, right. but I'm telling you, you've entered into the world of look at me. And the moment you do that and you start doing shit that's not a touchdown, a home run, or a three-pointer, niggas is going to start talking about it outside of the realm of the game. And this is the game you've entered, ma'am. So you can't 
Speaking of heavy hair, hair, hair heaviest head towards the crown, you can't have Kaitlyn Clark warming up down in one end. You take that crown that's heavy for the head that wears the crown because you won the championship last year. But she does it sit every it game. She does it every game, though. In but her, you in can't her defense. sit on Caitlin Clark's. This be but but if you, you do it in that it. game with her, you better not lose. You better not crown. Yeah, you lose. I will you give you that you one. Yeah, you yeah, lose. yeah. You even if even if, even if even if you beast it out there because you it's going to make headlines. On that game, because I didn't know she does it every game until Me people were in the comments like, yo, I'm an LSU fan. She does it every single game. Well, you can't but when you do you it lose. against Caitlin Clark in the biggest game of the season. It's a nigga in the NBA whose nickname requires a crown. And yeah. he don't put crowns on niggas' benches. Well, y'all would call him a lot of names if he exactly, did that. Exactly, because oh, that's oh, the game. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What happened now? She took a crown a and little, put it on the her on the bench. bench down where Kayla Clark. She does that, I guess, up. pre-game warm-ups. That's what she does. Then Kayla Clark came out and dropped 40 on that motherfucker. Head. And she cried in the post game. And she cried in the post game. No. But she was crying about all, all, no. all the shit that comes beyond the game stuff. But I, I, I will I will I will say this, Deb. Because you know, I can admit some things. You know, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a big guy, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know? But but no. That um, the the you actually made a good point, like you said, with the John Morant thing. But mm-hmm. I I wasn't feeling the Dennis Rodman one because I'm like, cause he brought that on himself. Cause you gonna put a dress on, but cause you put the dress on, what well, people are gonna talk about that. But the but the John Morant you thing was tell, huge. Okay. The John Morant thing was huge though, because that yeah. like you said, that led everything sports and everything. Yeah, it's, because, it's going it, to. But it also directly affected his Her, job because he got suspended that's true. for it. You're right, you're if right. he didn't get suspended, Dennis Rodman didn't get suspended for wearing a dress yeah. though. You know what I'm saying he no, just brought right. he just brought right. those conversations on, but that's that I, I, I will agree with that one or whatever. But I'm but, just but, I'm I, just I've just heard Skip Bayless and these people eviscerate male athletes for the shit they did on the court. I've heard them co- accuse game. niggas of fair quitting, game. accuse niggas of being soft, accuse niggas of not wanting to play. Fair like, game though for the for, I don't for think on the court. But the thing court. is, it, we've we've criticized the Skip Baylesses for it not being fair. Because we've accused him of going at LeBron just for ratings. Mm. Because he's not a quitter. Mm. He's not soft. But we, what I'm saying is. 2010 what, Boston series might want to have a conversation. No, I'm playing. Well, you know, you're right. I'm but playing. what I'm saying is these <laughs> think pieces that it makes him a misogynist because he says you got to put your big girl panties on and you can't cry after a loss. Why can't, this is the thing, after having, while having daughters, why? I don't understand how we can say we're going to 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 be conscious and treating people the exact same way as we would want to be treated, and at the same time have to make sure we don't say certain things to make them feel bad. Are we doing? Which one are we doing? Mm. Are we placating? Are we are we being? Because in my eyes, the misogyny is oh the little girls can't take it. To me, that's a misogynistic. That because they're women, they can't handle my big bad words. They're women. They're humans just like me. Right. And you can't cry after a loss, fam. I bet yeah, you they coaches yeah. don't be in the locker room like, hey, People, sweetheart, make a layup. They be like, motherfucker, make a right. goddamn layup. Let's just say get this. your bum ass off my team. <laughs> I can guarantee you go in any woman's sport locker yeah. room. Oh, yeah. They coaches talking to them just as bad as Bruce Coffey Jr. talked to us at Shaw. Look. Come on, man. They can handle these right. words just Shit. like us. For Pete's sake, they got damn coach dapping up niggas walking out the tunnel. Yeah, you like, know she on. yelling at these you niggas. Know, you know Kim Malkin. You know Kim Malkin. You Kim Malkin. They're talking crazy. Kim is different. Now, the other, now, I will say this. The L.A. Times article. Oh, that was, odd. Them, that, that was completely out of pocket. That's some shit to get a nigga knocked the fuck out. That was completely out of pocket. They called them dirty debutantes. It's yeah, only... It's only it screamed, what, what was what was the radio guy that was talking about the the Rutgers players? That's what it reminded me yeah, of. What he called them nappy headed hoes. Mm-hmm. What was the guy? Yeah, I think yeah, what now? A, long, a long time ago. Um, I can't think of the white guy. He, I think he's dead now. The thing about Dirty Debbie Todd is there's only we're not gonna show this on our screen. There's only one definite. There's nothing else to Dirty Debbie Todd for this. This is it. This is the only thing Dirty Debbie Todd means. This is it. There's nothing else in the world named Dirty Debbie Todd other than this. Yeah. This is what Dirty Debutantes is. Yeah. It was a porn series from the early 2000s. This is what it is. There's yeah. no, this is not a nickname. This is not a Dirty Debutantes is like saying, calling somebody um, Drake or yeah. Tupac. There's only one definition, and it's this. Yeah. So to get in the fucking LA Times and say that LSU got a fucking roster full of Dirty Debutantes, it's he was out only of pocket. He was, your he porn was, he series. He was completely out of pocket. 
That is Excuse the wild. Now nah, somebody getting their mouth smacked. Like now that at that point, I'm hundred percent yeah. on your side. Like nigga, it's on now site. you, now you trying to be funny. It's on site. Yeah, that it was, only got was, one fucking definition. Yeah. yeah. All right. So so we'll we'll be a little punk we'll, ass. We'll be opposite. I'm gonna do some on research one. on this the, the original Dirty Debbie Times. Yeah, I am too. Home. I'm doing research uh, with these here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Matter of fact, that's why we got Google. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Speaking of, real quick before we get into some other shit, I just want to say <laughs> that I believe Glorilla and Meg Thee Stallion had the best song out right now. I was listening to it today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, I was listening to it too. So <laughs> I was listening to it too. If you ever hear me <laughs> listening to that song in like a 20 second snippet, just know I really enjoy the song. <laughs> and I really want to hear this section of the song over and over <laughs> and over again. Is there a video to the song? <laughs> Is there no? Is there a music video to the song? It, oh. Not yet. Well, nigga, it's about uh, one point two million music it's, videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just, yeah. You yeah. want the bars in that certain? <laughs> it's, it's the bariest the bar. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Meg the Stallion. Listen, women do it all the time. I saw a picture they was googly eyeing over Morris Chestnut the other day, and they be yeah. doing it with Idris Elba. I'm not a person who enjoys. I really don't enjoy, like, people, the twerk videos. Okay. But Meg Thee Stallion did put out she, she, yeah, she um, a video today that is a... It, I'm just appreciating the art of it. It was a promotion of the song. It is, ma- it is a... <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's a promotion of the song. It's a master class. Of, women always say that twerk come from Africa and it's not sexual, <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's what I hear all the time. This is a rain dance. And this is the You know, I always African. wanted to go to the motherland. Oh, um, <laughs> it is. I was wanted to go to the motherland. Oh, man. Woo. <laughs> if you get a chance today or this week, Oh, if tonight. you want to get get on social media, oh man, just search Meg the Stallion and thank the thank the DMST podcast later. <laughs> um, yeah, every now and then you stumble across a video that changes your changes the world a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Puts you a little step closer <laughs> to heaven than the day you were before. Hey. <laughs> and, uh, hey. Oh man, it that's happens. Funny. <laughs> it happens. That is funny. It, it it sure enough happens. But no, that song is is dope as hell, man. Yeah, like Glorilla right now can't really miss. To be honest with you, if you ask me, Glorilla is in a in a in a in a particular bag that um, yeah. not a lot of rappers get in. And I I, I don't think she in her mu- music. She in her music. She <laughs> in her music bag. Music Man, bag. come on. But I never would have thought from fuck nigga free that we would get to this point in her career. I thought she would be flashing a pan, but Glorilla making some really good music, man. Yeah, this yeah. last song, the song with her and Meg is dope. Is dope. Mm-hmm. So, um, what else? What else? What else? What do I, uh, well, I know we ain't about to get into this, but um, obviously, she, she, her and JT had a little go back and forth, um, mm-hmm. you know, on Twitter and everything because mm-hmm. I, I forgot all that stuff had happened last year. But there's something about that supposed, supposedly she had slapped her or whatever. Yeah, I forgot about a, that yeah. at some point or whatever. Yeah, whatever. But, um, um, yeah, it, it, I'm not, I'm not here for that. If we, if we gonna talk beef, we gonna talk. We going to get on record, J Cole or whatever. But but we, let's we, we long enough. We got we got we got to talk about last night. Yeah, we got to talk about last yes, night, sir. man. And um, um, for people who um, well, let's just say Pod and R and B was last night. Yes, uh, it was our first time. Don't do that. I got to <laughs> concentrate. Um, Pod and R and B was last night, so it was our first time doing Pod and R and B since August of last year. <laughs> Playboy, <please. laughs> I'm sorry. No, my bad. Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, and when bro, we sorry. did it in August of last year. It was the first time we had did it since October of the year before. So this is like what our only our second one in the last year and a half plus uh-huh. probably yeah. um, that we've done pod and R and B. So shout out to um shout out to to Mike Thompson, yes, owner Waking of, Dream. of Waking Dreams Dream Pre- Waking Dreams. Yeah, I was put an S in there. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Waking Dream Creations. Um, we did the event there last night, and it was, I think, our biggest crowd. I remember our very first one. We had a really good crowd. 
Yeah. But I think last night was our biggest crowd we've yeah, had absolutely. since since doing this event. Um, we got a couple of um, things out there, at least in our stories right now on our DMST page. Um, just how the night went, just some mm-hmm. views of it or whatever. But it was a success. Mm-hmm. Um, let's just start there. It was, an, it was a success. Uh, thank you to everybody that really came out. Um, and we was having this conversation pre-show. Um, it's crazy because we do have regulars that do that support us all the time, and we really, mm-hmm. we really appreciate y'all. There was a lot of new faces yeah, there last a lot, night, yeah, man. A lot, man. A lot of new faces, and that was um, really, really dope to see. Mm-hmm. Um, we hope to see y'all on the next one. But the new faces, Dev, you got to take on that. The way you feel like we're we're in a tra- transition era. Yeah, yeah, man. Where we um, where <clears throat> we we we've been doing some pretty decent. Um, business, I guess, putting on right. a pretty decent show, a pretty decent product, and then b- being able to, to to link up with somebody like Mike, yeah, and Waking Dream Creations, and um, and Candy did an amazing job. Shout man. out yep. to Candy, yeah, absolutely. And, um, kind of expanding our reach and making sure that the show that we provide mm. is dope enough to carry the night. You know what I mean? We, you, you start, you do, a, you, you, you know, you're starting to grow a little bit. You know. So it's like back if you're a community rapper and your niggas come to the show. You right. know what I'm saying? That's cool. But you get to the show, you start looking out the crowd, you're like, damn, I don't know. Right. I don't know these people. But then they like rapping along to your song. You're like, hold the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> like, what's going on? You right. know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I think I think the the expand we're starting to expand a little bit more beyond the base that we normally, you know, um provide. We did a really good job that we provide entertainment to. I think we did a really good job promoting this last one. And we'll yeah, continue we did. to do that in the future. Um, you know, you have multiple people with a different reach. And so people are seeing it from we did a good job with us three. And we don't normally we don't normally do as good a job. I know I don't. And I, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. Where it was almost every day one of us was posting something on our own personal page. Oh, talking we, about the promotion. Yeah, yeah we, we, put we are DM, shitty with promotion. Then we put it on the DMST we page. Shitty with it, yeah. But when you think about that, let's say <clears throat> all three of us do it, DMST page does it. We got a promotion already going. Shout yeah, out to the people. Shout it. out to the people that 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 reposted yeah, themselves to do it. it. Can't shout out. Yeah, shout out to uh, Curvy CEO and people like that. And Titan, Kat was, and Titan, Titan, Titan did it. Yeah, people who was reposting it. And then let's say you got Thompson. You know, you got Mike reposting it. Then you got Candy. Now you got it from ten different sources. You mm, know what right. I'm saying? And deep, different eyes are seeing it. And then they come, and it's a decent product, man. Mm. It's a really good product. And so we got a lot of plans for the future. To, we're, yeah. Y'all should heard these conversations we was having pre-show. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. man. We're because with, with with Pod and R and B, the cool thing about it is the amount of people who showed up last night is the show. Mm-hmm. That's it. So we, we 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 need to be able to provide an an enhanced product, right? Obviously and honestly for an enhanced price, right? Maybe a bit of a raised price, mm-hmm. but a better product. Yeah. Same amount of people because it yeah. needs to be intimate. No more than 45, 50 people at tops. Mm. I think you start getting over, you know, we start getting over that, it starts getting weird. For people who came, who've come before, you know what we mean. Because it is an interactive show. Mm-hmm. It's conversation, it's different topics. It's a very mm-hmm. interactive show. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It, it, I, I feel like it's so tough in the position that we are in because, let's be honest, I mean, I, I, I've said I was going to reach out to a few people this week to mm-hmm. kind of just get their feedback, but to be honest, People have been on our ass about us raising prices because yeah. we we do it for the player price. Yeah, we do because people. <laughs> I'm in the hole right now for Shit, for, nigga, for we in the game. We all yeah, we man, about, yeah. you know. So like like it's it's yeah. it happens, you know. But it's like it's you walk this line of really keeping it to a point where people be like, all right, I'm gonna go check it out. Mm-hmm. You know to you know and then being like, yo, well, we gotta actually charge what the shit is worth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I'm sorry, I, I want to jump in. I know you no, go ahead, got no, go ahead. too. And, uh, and 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 I gotta take one quick second too. That we don't do it a lot. Every now and then we do. We uh, we was walking up the stairs today, and I'm talking about man, we've been doing this for a long time because we. I saw my Kalisha being out at the the little social club thing here in Cleveland, and, and it's a couple members of a podcast that used to record in our studio that that's associated with them and things like that. And I was like, I was thinking like, man, we've been doing this for a long time. But you know, we we got all these years and it's in all these times, and people come up here and they do a lot of stuff in our studios and things like this, and. People tell us how good we do things sometimes, and I think we know how good we do things sometimes. Mm-hmm. But 
we're really humble about the things we do. Mm-hmm. And and I'm gonna take one quick second just to brag on us for a quick second. Mm-hmm. We may not be perfect, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. with a lot of stuff, and, and of course there's always room for improvement. Mm-hmm. But God damn it, we can do a fucking show. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Can, and we do this shit on our own. Yeah. We don't. A- I say it all the time. Nigga, we, we, don't, we don't ask nobody for shit. Mm-hmm. We true we definition of self made. We don't. We don't pull people in. Or whatever. Y'all saw me. I'm pulling up, and I got. I'm pulling. Fucking. I'm calling you to get speakers out the car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. running cords everywhere mm-hmm. and shit like yeah, that. Whatever. We, we do this shit on our own. Yeah. And all these podcasts in the city talk all this big shit about a bunch of big shit about the shit that they ain't doing. Mm-hmm. And we do this shit on our own. You know what I'm saying? And people talk shit just because of the fact that they got numbers behind their fucking name and followers mm-hmm. about what they do and they think they doing a bunch of shit. And this yeah. ain't even this honestly not it's not even a shade post at I mean mm-hmm. a shade comment at all. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that I know what the fuck we do. Yeah. And I just want to take a quick second, honestly, to just applaud us yeah. right now because yeah. we've been doing this shit for a long fucking time and the shit is not easy. And we do it because we love to do this shit, honestly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why I appreciate when people pull up. But the shit ain't easy. And again, the mm-hmm. fact that we don't ask nobody for yeah. a motherfucking thing. This yep. is our shit. We yep. sitting in our shit yep. right now. <laughs> yeah. in our fucking studio. <laughs> exactly. On our fucking couch. With mm-hmm. our fucking equipment. Exactly. We ain't renting space on nobody's shit. Yep. We ain't asking nobody to do the shit for us. We doing this shit on our own. Mm-hmm. And yep. so, excuse the fuck out of us at some point. And I'm sorry right now. Beep, 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 beep. Excuse the fuck out of we even do, fucking sound If we at? even do go up on the price. Excuse the fuck out of us if we do it at some point. Because we've earned that shit. Man, mm-hmm. yeah. and I'm proud of us, and I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of the show we put on last night. I'm proud of the venue. Thank you to Candy. Thank mm-hmm. you to Paco. Thank you to everybody associated. Thank you to everybody that came to that motherfucker. And y'all better come to the next one because we will. got ideas. But you know what? You know they will. They will, and we appreciate y'all. I'm sorry. I'm we, done. No, it's no, cool. no, no, no. Fuck that, nigga. Bam, bam, nigga. You <laughs> talk that shit real quick. <laughs> off of what you just said, a lot of people. Everything I don't. Everything we've built. And shit, what y'all started, what y'all started building. But everything that's built through DMST is built off DMST. Not, yeah. I used to be a host, or I used to be a community rapper, or I used to be a community singer, or I used to be a community activist. And then I tried to flip that number into being to my podcast. Everything we've done is off the backs of the podcast. Yeah. And everything we're doing is branching out from the podcast. So you have people in different areas, different cities, different regions that will flip the thing they've already done somewhere else, which is good. I'm not hating on you. But that doesn't mean your podcast work is as strong. You've just flipped the the, the success you may have had somewhere else, mm. and you're trying to manufacture it in the, maybe these people will listen to me. Yep. But that's a maybe or maybe not. We know for a fact every single person that either tunes in or comes to the show or has ever followed us or done whatever has tuned in because of the podcast. Absolutely. Not we used to do was do something else and then let's use them numbers to start a podcast. Nope. All this shit is organic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of it. Like I said, man. So yeah. We um we self made. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's something to be proud of. That's why like I just told, you know, brainstorm, man, talk your shit. Mm-hmm. Like, we've been through a lot. And we've been growing and growing, and and to see yesterday, last night was a culmination, mm-hmm. because you know how I am. I I start getting a little nervous towards the beginning of the show just because of the fact of seeing who pulling in. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was like split second. It was just. Whoosh. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, like I said, we self made, man. We put in a lot of work. Yeah. All the shit we do, we didn't done. Our motherfucking mm-hmm. sales. Like you said, Brainstorm, we ain't asked nobody for shit. For nothing. Nigga, all this shit. Everything you see up there at that um, at Wake and Dream Creation, mm-hmm. nigga, we paid for that. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we put down the funds for, you know, everything. Mm-hmm. So it's something to be proud of, yeah. man. And at the end of the day, niggas don't fuck with us because of A, B, and C. Niggas fuck with us because we dope, nigga. Mm-hmm. Flat out, we yeah. dope. Like, yes, call it what it is. We dope, nigga. Mm-hmm. And that's I'm saying that in the most humblest way. Did I say, that ain't documentary, is it? Mm-mm, no, it's not, it's not, that's not, that's not documentary <laughs> ish. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and again, man, I, I don't, I, I can't do it enough. I'm not trying to gas or whatever or glaze like the kids we see nowadays. Oh, is but, that a term? Yeah, Damn, yeah, they yeah. come up with all types. Of teacher shit. glazing, they glazing it. I'm like, stop, ain't nobody glazing over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but man, shout out to to, to Mike to Thompson, the Waking Dream. Yeah, man. Shows, man, it is the perfect setting. This is, it this really is a is. very good foundation to build from. Um, we always talk one thing about doing stuff in house. That's somebody else who's built their base up from mm. in house. 
they're good people. We hopefully we're good people. And yeah. when good people come together to do stuff, good things happen. Good yeah. things happen. He's a really good dude, man. His wife's amazing, man. He did a lot of man, somebody spilled some stuff last night. He out there cleaning it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like yeah. napkins for that. Just too. good yeah. dude, man. Yeah. Like um yeah. and uh the, the space. The the, the the combining the art with some of the visual stuff we had you go on our store you can see what it looked like mm -hmm. it just visually and that was the first time without us knowing like we can now study that video because it was little stuff that I can't even explain like nigga the lights was like kind of illuminating from the floor and making its glow from it yeah. was a very like but now we can build off of it mm -hmm. right. and make it look even better Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we will. And we will. It was our first time there. And we will. Yeah. yeah. And the reality is, too, let's call it what it is. We don't have a problem doing what we do as far as, far as uh, Pod and RB, as far as, you know, putting funds and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, like I say, we we humble about this. Don't get it twisted. The main thing is, y'all don't know that we really do this shit. Number one, because we love this shit. Mm -hmm. And because we love y'all. And we want to put on a show for y'all each mm -hmm. and every time. So... Like you said, man, show. we appreciate everybody that came through, man. We, it, it was a dope time. Everything went perfect, you know, and I can't wait for the next one, man. Yeah, man. Wait, shout, oh, oh, real quick. Really? Shout out to y'all niggas. First of all, brainstorm. shout out to how you set the tone for every motherfucking yeah, thing. Yeah. Damn, that fucking poem and you coming in, that, poem that shit dope. was Thank fucking you. dope. Thank you. you had the room like... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank that you. That shit was dope, man. was dope. Shit was dope. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. A, it was. A, it was. That was. You can't ask for nothing else. Some things happen in life, and you just put a bow on it. Yeah. Put it up on the shelf. Like that is what pod and R and B supposed mm -hmm. to be. Like that yeah. was it. I ain't yeah. really got no complaints. Pe pe people don't know though. I'm gonna do a poem on the next one. Oh yeah. shit! Cannon. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a poem this time. Get in front of him, Molly. I'm doing one next time, man. I'm gonna get in my bag too, man. Hold on, what was his name in that? Uh, 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 oh, he was supposed to be Rafael. Oh, De La Ghetto. Uh, Rafael De La Ghetto. <laughs> yeah, De La Ghetto. yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm doing a poem this time, though. Oh, but no, real talk, man. It, it, it was just we 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 can only get better. You know, doing it, and uh, you know, and I know, I it feels like the support is going to be there. I mean, I I think there's value in what you said, Dev, and the fact that it does feel like a, a transition is coming where you made an interesting observation. Hopefully, I'm not speaking out of turn. Where it's like, where it's just out of our regulars, mm -hmm. our regulars was very small there last night. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of new faces, a lot of first timers there mm -hmm. last night, and hopefully, this is like I feel like we're in that transition stage, where, where like you said, where it's we just. You know, we may put tickets on sale and, and might be gone. They might be gone. Yeah, because we unfortunately the next one we are probably not gonna be able to do door. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We are not gonna be. We we gonna have to pre purchase, which means we might have to go. Like I was talking, cause shout out, cause I'm giving the reason why I'm giving Mike the flowers is because there's a lot of people, man. It it, it, it remind that in, the interaction and like the um, it reminds us of us. Like we talk about doing the in house. Yeah, I know we y'all had a chance to converse with him yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like me and him would talk at times, and sometimes people be funny about giving game away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we don't mind giving each other game, niggas. This niggas in the city that are trying to charge you for game. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so like I was, you know, they do an amazing job with trap and paint at um at, at captivate. captivate him, Brent Roach. I think we we'll go to the downtown. next one. Yeah, we should go to the yeah. next one, man. But they do a really good job with it. Um, but he was giving some tips and tricks on like how to make sure, you know, we not the day of like, damn, we got enough chairs type situation. We have to do an early bird special where, where it's cheaper at the mm -hmm. beginning. Mm -hmm. and, and so we might have to open up sales three weeks out. And yeah. that first week is 10, 15, it's 10, five, ten dollars cheaper. Then once the two weeks hit the regular price, it's the regular price, regular price, but we got to get to a point. Where you got to purchase the tickets before you come, so because mm. we got to have a head count and mm. we got to know. Yeah. And if we sell out, we sell out. Yeah. And black people know they gonna wait to the end, ain't they, boy? Nigga. We we had that shit up. We say it all the time. People don't be believing us, man. But <laughs> and I kept sitting all, all of every Friday day. morning. All of a sudden, my phone was buzzing, the buzzing, boom, buzzing, boom. and Dev like, "Yo, these tickets is moving. These tickets move." Friday and Saturday, them yep. shits moved yeah, yeah, on like Friday that. and Saturday, man. But yeah. shout out to you. A couple things in the feed one. Uh, uh, yeah. Toya said that she saw the price and she thought it was too low. It 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 is, but you got to understand, people. 
will pay for a lot of shit mm-hmm. for a lot of people they don't know and won't pay for your shit. Yeah. So we, it is a balance to strike yeah. there. Um, she uh, asked. She said, "Are y'all gonna uh, post any pics or videos?" Yeah, 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 we are. We got a couple on our page on our story. If you want to go take a look, yeah. And then when we get them back, we'll yeah, post them. Paco, like Paco did. Shout out to Paco for doing. I the think pictures. I he think like Puerto Vallarta or some shit today. So yeah, he, he gone. Yeah, he he. Well, I ain't gonna put his business out. Yeah, I mean, I might strike that from the record. Oh my bad. But, uh, but uh, you know, some people don't like to be like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this. Well, I know there. he ain't there for real. I'm just saying he ain't. Yeah, he, but he's um, out of commission for. Yeah, he out of commission for a minute. Um, um, what else did I see? Uh, I saw. Leah said that brother, brother night, but I'm sorry, brother knowledge. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to have him on the show. He said, yeah, he no, had, we definitely got yeah, because because he, I was waiting for him to, to put his hand up and say something he yesterday. Was, we, we, I told you yeah, talked after the show. I mean, he had a lot of he, a lot of, he really he enjoyed. He enjoyed. She said it, he had a lot to say, but you know, yeah. we got we got to get him on the show. And then uh, Titan was like, "Yo, the, what was up with that left? What was it the left? The left? I don't know yeah, what you the know, hell that yeah, was about. I, I don't man. know. That came out of left. I don't know whose friend she was. If she was, I on don't her, know. Fr- she was the first person visit. Yeah, that was the first visitor. First time they came. I don't know who. It's called crazy. Insane. <laughs> I, I got a question I don't for wanna, you. I'm I, like, oh, okay, let's go. Hey, what's up? Yeah. If your left nut was swollen, whoa. Yeah, it Ma'am, was, this is my wife right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, please, what? Don't, please, let, please. Let me reach out and touch her real quick so you know. I look yeah. like. Leah, like, you know her. I have never seen this human being before in my life. <laughs> don't know, didn't know she existed until she asked yeah. that question. You understand? Right. I make it a point early in every show to make sure I point my wife out. That's my wife right there. <laughs> hey, every, I, I, I'll make a comment so specific. Specifically geared towards her every show, so y'all know. Maybe right. I got to do the same thing. I don't know where that came from. Right. Yeah, that was crazy. But, but, yeah. but no, it was it was fun, man, and uh, and good interaction, man. So I'm glad the the, the first timers know that now when they get there, man, you can let your hair down. Mm-hmm. We having a good time. We we singing songs, mm-hmm. man. People in there dancing the stuff, man. You you know it, it's we having conversations, man. You can let your hair down right in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, you ain't got to wait to see other. You ain't got to fill people out with this one. Right. It's going to be an intimate set, and we're going to have a good time. Yeah. So, man, we'll keep y'all posted on the next one that's coming. We got plans for, I like, already like the next two to three. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying, you know, oh, yeah. we were oh, talking yeah. we oh, about yeah. the topics for the next two or three of them, man. And, and um, psh, man. Yeah, it's going to um, yeah. some. It's a couple of different dope. things we can do, man, that I got I, I got to. We, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Yeah. Because if we do, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> I got a hell of an idea. But anyway, anyway, we'll talk about it after the yeah. show. This shit just came but, to yeah. me. But man, it's date night. It's date night, man. It, mm-hmm. It's it's probably single people there too that you can. It, it's all these things rolled into one. And last thing I'll say on it too is something some, something something y'all both said. It was like, and I, and I actually heard it too. People don't. It's like an event now. People actually go buy an outfit because mm-hmm. we set the tone because we get dressed for the yep. event. Mm-hmm. Now, very rarely do you kind of see people not really yeah. trying a little bit, even if it ain't a ton. You yeah, got you need to put bit. a little button down on or something like that. You know, it, it's really rare to see people come in there now where it's like they just in jeans yeah. and a t shirt. Like they people just don't know. People, they, yeah, they, it's like, they like, just yeah. don't know. Yeah. Nah, people get dressed and coming up, but people was dressed in yeah. that motherfucker. You know what? I've, I've heard people say because of the tone that we mm-hmm. set for it. Mm-hmm. I tell people all the time, you can wear whatever you want to. We just want you there. Yeah. But yeah. we trying to make sure we put on a great, a whole production for y'all. And and, and, and and dress up and look sharp for yeah. y'all because we put on the show. It's we, not we ain't give away too much. I'm not I'm not worried because mm-hmm. if y'all start seeing this, just know where it originated from. Yeah, because it's April seventh at eight thirty five p.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you heard it here first, right? Mm-hmm. But just all I'm gonna say is three words: Valentine's Day in July. Yes. Four words. That's all I'm gonna say. So if you start seeing this bullshit somewhere else. Right. Just know they can't do it like us. Right. So don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. And this is where it originated from. Yep. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So get ready to show some love in the middle of the summer. Because we are in Cleveland. And at times, maybe you can't dress how you wanted to dress in February. Right. Maybe you can't do the things you wanted to do in February. You know, you can put that dress on and just go below your hoo-ha. You know what I'm saying? Your hoo-ha. <laughs> I love Fellas, using that term. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fellas, you had to wear a coat. You know what I mean? You couldn't. You, 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 your, your outfit had, had limitations. Right. It's the middle of the summer. Show summer. love to the one you love. Mm-hmm. Come out, have a dope day night. Mm-hmm. Enjoy some good music, some beautiful art, yep. some good food, some good conversation. And, t- and treat your, that special someone the way they should be treated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Get you a hotel room at, for after the show. This is Valentine's Day in July. But we'll talk about that. You'll oh, see yeah. That. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just a little snippet. Yep. Of yeah. shit that's coming from Pod and B and DMST, man. Yes. And if you hear anything like that anywhere else, just know them niggas stole that shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> they stole it. Because if us. I see another goddamn Afro beats in R and B, yeah. Or that's the thing. R and B is the way right now. And, 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 
Yeah, and I and I, I will. This is something else we have to do. I've seen but, that but shit too. I'm these like, niggas is Titan, trying us. Titan, Titan is all he, he's asked me before. The business side of it. The you know what we got to do. We know we we talked about it before the show. Yeah, he, he, he and, I, and I don't want to say it right now, but he's he's asked me or before. Have y'all done this yet or whatever? We have to. That we have we have to. That term needs to be yeah. ours. Yeah, everything about it. Yeah. Yeah. So we talk we talk about that a little bit before the show too. We got we yeah. we have to sooner rather than later. I'm talking within a month. We got to figure that out. We got to figure out. We got to get the. We got to. Yeah. Yeah. So but anyway. Anyway, to, to to bring more controversy, like I know we we're not gonna stay crazy long. I got a couple little topics. Let's go with um, it. that I saw, and then just keep the drama going from yesterday. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be able to see this. Uh, let me see if I can make it. If I can make them be able to see this. <laughs> um, yep, there it goes. Um, let me make it. Let me make it full screen. Oh hell, I forgot this was a conversation yesterday. Is this is this part no, of yesterday? No, this was this was just somebody I, something I saw today. Okay. Um, it said uh, this says so for people people listening, the post says we can f we can fuck and do couple shit, but okay. I don't want to be together. This is coming from a woman. Okay. Um, we have we have in my opinion, I don't know what y'all think about this. Mm-hmm. We have to. Acknowledge the level of sadness that exists in our community. For you to have this outlook, you easy pickings. You easy pickings, but this is, fellas, run as far away from this woman as possible. Yep. This is a this is dr- the amount of drama that's waiting to happen from this, the amount of hurt, the amount of unresolved issues the amount of either ex nigga issues or daddy issues or mm-hmm. that would exist to live in this y'all not only are y'all having sex y'all going on dates y'all going to valentine's day in july y'all buy y'all buy mountain matching outfits but i don't want to be together yeah i just don't believe it See, so most most people, especially males, we can only think up to the point that we bust that initial nut. I tend to think after. What happens after? Mm. Where do you think her mind going to go after? Right. When y'all leaving the nine. Where do you think her mind going to go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> where your mind going to go? She's going to go back to her apartment. Why and you stayed in your valet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're like, all right, cuz, I'll holler at you, my nigga. Where do you think she she go back to her house in Richmond or something, her <laughs> apartment. Nigga hit you with the, <sighs> so what you, what you, what you about to do? Where you about to go? I'm about to get on the body here. You can have a room for the night like some wild shit. Like, I don't know. I just, I just, uh, I this mean, nigga's in the comment like, shit, winter shit. Likewise, y'all niggas is just thinking with the head between y'all I mean, legs. Yeah. Like on y'all shoulders, there's, I, I feel like there's a difference with this statement. Okay. It should be we can fuck, but I don't want to be together. Yes, not we can fuck and do couple. The couple shit, shit is where that's it goes the off the part, rails, man. That's yeah. that. That's the part, man. That's the part where yeah, that's I'm, the part. I'm like and, you, damaged, and, and I, man. And, and a lot of, in my opinion, in my 43 years of being on this earth, there's a lot of women that can't do that, mm-hmm. and they'll say they can, and they even just the the, the way it should be. We can I'm fuck, but I don't want to be there. I've only met. I've only met. Brace, I'm going on a limb. Two women in my life that I feel like that used to be at some point in their life was like, yo, I'll 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 fuck with you or whatever. Not and not I'm talking about not yeah. with me, just yeah. their mentality. In they in general. They could talk to guys or whatever. Two. I don't believe them though. And that was a long time ago. That was the young yeah. people doing that. I don't believe it's a woman alive. I don't believe it's a nigga alive. We try to uh, we try to mask our feelings and emotions though. Mm-hmm. I mean, we are less emotional, so maybe we don't show it as much. I just don't think you can be intimate and doing date and and going over people's houses and and not eventually get to that. You're eventually gonna get to a crossroad. Yeah, I don't I care who you are. I agree. It can last for two months, three months, four months, a year, but eventually the rubber's gonna meet the road. Cause it's either gonna be I met somebody who's better for me or who is equal. And they want a relationship. So what you going to do? Right. <laughs> or I'm sick and tired of playing this game. Mm. And I don't know. I, I just have never. 
it was just such a sad. But you got to yeah. understand. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just saying it, it's just the crazy part is it, it, it is sad because I thought that was a man that said that. No. So to know that it's coming from a woman, it's kind of like, whew. You, uh, this is what I'm saying, though. They always. Yeah, I got a whole other conversation about but, about that, but I kind of knew it's it was not a woman. too far off from being a nigga. Yeah. I kind of knew it was a woman for that for that point. Yeah, that's that's the mentality. Now I kind of knew when you brought that up. I kind of knew it was going to be a woman because the, their mentality, is, the younger generation, their mentality yeah. has changed no. now. Let me stop. I, we know this. There is a younger generation. This is. Our age, yeah, I, and, I, and I and I and that truth be told, I would believe it would be our age. This is our because age because this sounds like a person that's fed up or hurt or just mm-hmm. is already fed up been with, through their shit. Hmm? Already been through their shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's tired. And don't want the other stuff now. Mm-hmm. It's just done with it. That sounds like a woman that's done with it. Mm-hmm. All right, but I mean, because I, I they don't want the hurt emotionally behind, you know. But it's shit, inevitable. Shit happening. That's how it's I look at that. It's inevitable. Any any time any 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 venture we have into this relationship space. I say all the time, I, I, I know people have been hurt before, but I always say, I always say and, and maybe it's my minimalist way of looking at stuff, mm-hmm. but I'm like, it, when people be talking about they're, they're, they're scared of being in relationships, or, or it, it's, it's only two things that can happen. Mm-hmm. It's going to work. Or it's not. Or it's not. See? It's 50-50. It's only two things that can happen. Take your chance. Mm-hmm. And go into it with that approach and that mindset, mm-hmm. and maybe it won't hurt as bad if it don't work. Yeah. It was only the, it was only one or two options. Yeah, and it's fifty fifty. Them nigga, if I, I you know we all doing fan duel and all that shit now. If I could place a bet that had a fifty percent chance oh, of going nigga. in, <laughs> my nigga, I would be doing pretty good, goddamn good yeah, right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's a really high percentage of something perhaps working. Yeah, get over it, man. Tight, tightening the feed said um, that level of hurt is the real deal. That being scorned and disassociating yourself from emotion is nuts to me. Yeah. Either gender. Yeah, it is, man. Because it's it's always acknowledged. Like, we got to, like, for real, it's like, niggas know, you know, like, I'm trying not to, whether 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 that's real or not, whether it's happening or not, we, we if, if anybody is going through that, it's acknowledged. Mm-hmm. What yeah. I mean by that is, like, a nigga be, a nigga be like, or a chick be messing with a new nigga, whatever the case may be, and they're like, oh, we, you know, shit cool right now. You only say that because eventually <laughs> it's either not going to be cool or a conversation got to be had. Right. Eventually. The, eventually. It got to happen. It got to happen. But it's always at the forefront of our mind or either in the back of our mind that like, damn, eventually I'm going to have to have this conversation with this person mm-hmm. one way or another. We we got to know we can't be 60 years old still fucking casually. It's not going to happen. Right. It's not going to happen. Ain't I no mean, way. I mean, at 60, if I was single at 60, man, fuck it at that point, man. She ain't going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. And at, at that at, point, at, why is it, nigga, just at married? At 60, just, just, no, no, I mean, yeah, you can't, you, if you, I guess taking that part, if you're yeah. talking about one person, but it's like, if you don't want to get married no more at some point, man, you, you're going to go ahead and go ahead and find your home that you're going to yeah. be in and stuff like that. I don't know, man, but I don't know. I, I, I just feel like, um. It, it, like Titan said, to be that detached, you know, emotionally, it's a scary thing, though. It is terrifying, man. Especially when you got so much more life to live. And it's crazy because it, it, it's crazy because seeing that in a woman, and I and I get different situ, you know, situations or whatever the case may be, but mm-hmm. to see that and to imagine it's somebody that really, really like her. Mm-hmm. That really into her, really yep. want to fuck with her like that, and they can't win in the situation because she's so damaged behind the BS that took place that you could potentially be missing out on a motherfucker that really fuck with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I say that all the time because I see people on um on like on Twitter and and and, and IG and stuff like that. They post these things all the time, these memes and stuff, where they just talk about how unaccessible they are. Or inaccessible they are, mm-hmm. where it's like you know, well, you can't do this. You get one time, you get this, and it's just like, like you just, damn. It's like if there was a good up. guy that was out there that really was interested in you, yeah. why would he even approach a good guy? Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna approach you now. 
The yeah. fuck niggas might because they just yeah. gonna be like, oh, well, I, I fuck up myself anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But a good guy ain't go because why? Because you already done told yeah. him. Oh, you got one time. Because we both gonna fuck up. Yeah, man. And shout out to all the people that that uh that that, that went through something, or you know, relationship wise, emotionally or whatever, and and, and not blaming the next person for it. Mm. Shout out to them people, man. Because the next person don't deserve what you went through. Like you said last night, previous cast. Speak it up. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't give it away. Hey, I guess, <laughs> that's what I mess with you. But no, next, yeah. next five. But well, they don't know the poem. But yeah, yeah. I, I think I might. I'm, oh, shit. That was cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's oh, cool. Oh, shit. It's cool. Yeah. But no, I might. Uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a piece to go with that. Yeah. That mm-hmm. previous cast joint. Don't blame me for what's going on with somebody else's shit, man. Don't, don't, no, uh. Uh uh-uh. uh, that is not my job. I did not do it, and I will not be treated like I did. Right. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Nigga, that is a line straight from the poem, nigga. Right. I, whatever <laughs> it is, I did not do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, that's just, it. Was just it was just I'm like, how bad of a situation you got to be in as a nigga to see that post and then comment like you happy, like she, did you hit by DM? a nigga that's just trying to fuck. That's all that is. Yeah. All it is is a nigga just trying to fuck. That's why I said from the from the jump, easy pickings. Mm-hmm. But certain niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody that ain't looking. You got some mm-hmm. people that's act like shit that's actively looking for that type of person. Mm-hmm. I don't really because at the same time, you never know the people that's reaching out in them comments. They may be damaged too, and they don't want to get into no bullshit either. Mm-hmm. Quote unquote. It's yeah. all fucked up. I get what you're saying. It is yeah. disheartening. God yeah. damn. I mean, tight tight said it's scary because you're attempting to run off what's natural, and you're forcing yourself to be into, into something knowing damn well. Uh, you see, they are forcing themselves not to be into something, knowing damn well they are, and they just afraid. Yeah, yeah. people, yeah. people got people got to admit that too, man. You know, people got to admit. I mean, talk to some, talk to the person that you actually start getting into that relationship with, and say, "Hey, I've been hurt before, so I may take things a little bit slower, or whatever." But like, you have yeah. to let that person know, in a sense, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and attempt to make that next up. But but to but to dump stuff on people, yeah. and like you said, to blame people and and whatever things like that, or or. Somebody can't win because you still living on something that happened and something like you, that relationship ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna last. It ain't gonna last. That's 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 the bottom line. It ain't gonna last. Mm-mm, nope. Because either the other person that's that's getting blamed for it gonna get tired of that shit, or the person that that's always doing the blame is gonna keep finding something and finding something to find something and they gonna leave. But the shit ain't gonna work. The shit ain't healthy, man. Right. Nah. And another thing, this is kind of off not off subject, but. Stop fucking with people and you don't even know what you want out of life. As mm. far as all far that, as all of that in relationship, right? If you know what you want and know what you're trying to go after, <laughs> you know whatever, you know, do that. You know, don't st- leave people alone, man. Mm-hmm. Just leave people alone. If, if you don't know what the fuck you want, leave people alone, man. It's okay to say, all right, cool. Uh, and you know, it might be one of my songs in the future. Um, Player by One Twelve. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. A, yeah. That's my Yo, right but there. when I'm when I'm ready to settle down, I, you know, like basically a song telling the girl, "Hey, yep. y- you're good and things like that, whatever." But I'm not ready. Yeah. I'm not ready for you. Now it might be fucked up. You may not even be able to handle that. You know what I mean? And this is part of RBA they, they do it right now in the segment. But right. you may not even be able to handle that. But at least mm-hmm. I'm being 100 and telling you yep. that you are a good person. I just ain't ready for that. Now, when I'm ready to settle down, mm-hmm. I'm gonna come looking or whatever. And now you put down, you gave her 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 chance to mm-hmm. say, "All right, cool." I might like it. I might not like it. I may. I may be receptive to it when you come back. I may not. But at least you gave her the opportunity. But stop fuck like you said. Stop fucking with people and just being like, ah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a fuck with your emotions and th- yeah. yeah, man, stop yeah. that shit, man. Yeah. That shit is Yo, insane. We create. We are creating monsters out here. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Well, people are creating monsters out here. We're creating it, monsters who don't have senses of reality when it comes to relationships, just life decisions. But, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of. This one here. I've seen this one. Speaking of. I saw, but I ain't diving into the story. A woman in Kentucky won the lottery. Okay. I've been over here doing some other shit, too, so just let y'all know I'm about to run off, rattle off some numbers. Yeah. This woman won the lottery. She won $90,000. Okay. A little lump sum. With ta- after taxes. The mother, you have to ask you to it. Okay. <laughs> the <laughs> motherfucker quits her job. Oh, shit. I was getting ready to say, she'd be just like me. <laughs> Quit like a motherfucker. <laughs> Off 90K. Yeah. Now, what does the lottery tax say? She had to easily, let me, let me see. 90,000? She easily had to. She probably, she, probably right got about, she probably got about 50 or 60 grand. 60, but I would say yeah. maybe. Yeah, so anything over $600 is taxes income. 
Yeah. 24% in federal taxes plus 4% in state taxes. That's 28%. 28% of that 90. 25200 dollars is what's taken away from it. Okay. Ooh. Minus twenty five two hundred. He about to actually do the math. She walks away with sixty four thousand eight hundred dollars. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. That is I'm a not, year salary. That's a year salary for some people. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. And that, and it's a lot of people that ain't getting that. Oh. It's a lot of people that ain't getting that. Oh. What is wrong with us? Oh man. Hey, but maybe she Keep wanted your to, job and maybe, pay off some bills. You know, you know, maybe she got a uh, savings or something. Maybe uh, she got savings. money. Okay, money right. somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> look at the screen. <laughs> 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 like she, she looks she look like she work on the farm or some shit. <laughs> Man, look. Do look. she have a, a savings? What you think? <laughs> I'm not going there. In the feed, book, take a look. Take cover, cover. I'm not going there. I can judge the book by the motherfucking decisions they make. <laughs> and when you get that 90K, you like, nigga, fuck this job. <laughs> bro, I'm telling man. you right now. I me, hate us so much, bro, man. Let me, let me hit for 25000 I'm out. No, this a lie. Nigga, I see you <laughs> bringing a lump sum and you kept your job. Right. Hold on. Did you leave, nigga? Hold on. Hey. <laughs> did you leave? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did you leave? Hold the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, you know, now, now I'm thinking about the timing. That yeah, all makes know. sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that was before. No, that was well before. That was, that before. was, before. That was well before. Remember, remember we, was, we went to Houston and everything. Yeah, that was well before. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you <laughs> off the hook. <laughs> you off the hook. I'm going to put you back on the hook, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but no, the, we niggas hit 90K and they like, I'm <laughs> out this bitch. Right. <laughs> Come on, you man. got to really not want to work, nigga. You gotta hate oh, your she job. Hated her, she hated uh, her job. She hated her job. Uh, she damn sure hated her. Cause I mean, like that shit gonna be so gone. That's just your regular rent and shit. Yeah, rent and 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 regular stuff. She might she might last two years off of that. I hope she got a four hundred one k save. But she quit. She hated her job. Yeah, she hated it, man. Yes, that's all. They yeah. said ninety k is enough to find another job in six months. Okay. As long as she got a plan. If her plan yeah. was like, you know what? I've been working. I've been working on the railroad <laughs> all a very long day. And she just need a break. And she going to go to, you know, B- Bermuda or some shit yeah. for, for, for uh, two weeks. And then, all right. Yeah, you know what? That could be, you know what? And then you about to apply for another day. You know, indeed. I'm going to set the stage for this. I, I'm going I'm to I'm work with the sister here. I think what happened is she hated her job. She got 90. She had something else she wanted to do, probably, yeah. as far as job-wise. Yeah, yeah. She probably said what you just said. You know what? She probably said, if I ever hit this lottery, I'm going to find me another job. Yeah. This, this, that, boom, boom. Probably went on a vacation or something. And probably got something else lined up. What do know. you tell the nigga on Indeed when they call you? Well, it's a six-month gap, man. I mean, <laughs> you know what? I hit for that 90. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so true. I took six months off. Yeah, that's what you or, tell them. Or you can, yeah. say, you can say that. Hey, look, I thought this, this, and that. Or you can say, hey, look, I went back to school. You just lied. So just lied. Just lied. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know how many jobs? Hey, look, you know how many jobs I got? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, oh, my man. homie Sean Tolliver. I man. was at NASA, bitch. Shout out to her. She, I, I just love people assume her job was shitty. That's mm. fucked up. Did somebody say something to feet? No, I was looking at the, at the comments. Okay, man. okay, okay. But uh, but no, that was just <laughs> yeah, man. That's just some idea. But I mean, I would take a year off, maybe. I mean, it's it's, it's yeah. shit, man. I would invest all that money, part of it, part yeah. of it. I knock out some 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 credit card some debt. debt. Yeah, you know yeah, whatever. I can't even knock out my student loan debt with that amount. No, no, Fuckers, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit we can't knock out. Yeah. Real quick, before we get up out of here, I know we got about to get back almost nine. What what intrigues you more? Woman with a beard, but they can't hear, so wow. we can't even look at that one. What 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 y'all think about this situation? Did y'all see this? Oh, the two headed lady that got married. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. What I, the, I, I, I just what think it's in the odd. Carmen it, San Diego I, I, was I, I this. See, see, we we really we really just tired tonight. I guess I guess. But yeah, this this is this is yeah. <laughs> it was, what is it? So conjoint co- twins or whatever. He married to the head on the left yeah. or the right. Well, depending on how you face. Never mind. Never oh, mind. Yeah, that's the one he married to. The number one question. Well, she's on the right now, but when he turns around, she's on the left. Oh, well, first of all, do the left one feel the penetration? So, when they, so they got two heads, two hearts, but once they get below the belly button, it's all one human. This thing getting heavy right now. <laughs> this, 
<laughs> nigga like you. He probably sitting over here kissing right. his wife and on the other side like you doing, motherfucker. This the thing, but this the thing. <laughs> he kissing her, right? What's the other one doing? Do bo- <laughs> this is fucked That's up. my question. What's the so other one So he kissing doing? her. If her coochie get wet, the other sister coochie get wet. <laughs> I hate or that. Just, I, I hate that. I love time. it. Or I do, love it. Or do one <laughs> side get wet and the other side stay dry? <laughs> one, one half of the labia or something, man. Y'all gotta stop with it. Y'all labia. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all gotta stop with this ignorance. Dude, they got two or four lips. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop with this, man. One half of the labia. He's trying to jump on us. Y'all gotta stop with this, man. This is insane. <laughs> oh, and I was. Oh, this is. Head is crazy when you think about it. <laughs> what does she do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she just like. You put a blindfold over the motherfucker. I mean, what? That's my biggest question. And that's what people, a lot of people said in the, in the comments. Like, when I saw a post, post about this, it's like, what is the other side doing? This has got to be some. Uh-huh. All right, first of all, what county is they from? <laughs> what county? <laughs> county? I mean, it's got to what be. County? Got to beat some. And, and this, this, is, this is the best question I heard. Which one did he meet first? Exactly. Exactly. Which me, one? I mean, that's. <laughs> Y'all got to stop you know this. What? I have a sister. Yeah, no, bitch. She right next to you. <laughs> no, me and you don't really vibe, but my sister, she might. Y'all got more in common than you, me. Nigga, well, what's your name? Man. Oh, Can you man. imagine the arguments? Oh, this is funny. Now her man. sister taking her this side. Is, literally. What do they do? Back shots? Hold on, y'all. Hold Back on. shot. Hold on. One coochie, two bones. That is correct. Yeah. Orchestra. Yeah. Y'all not gonna let my joke slide. I said her sister taking her side, literally. <laughs> <laughs> y'all not. Y'all not gonna let my joke just miss. God damn it! That shit was goat. You least would have got that one. You least would have got that joke. Uh, yeah. I didn't catch that one. Look at that top tier. <laughs> Let oh. me put this goddamn drink down. Oh. God damn it. That is hilarious. Her name is Abby Hensel. Uh, what's Honey. the other one's name? Oh, Brittany. Man. Okay. All right. Ooh. All right. Brittany and Abby. All right. Ooh, we. <coughs> Excuse me. Takes of my rib to a whole nother How um, does this statement. work? Let me step up. I put the cup back. I put the, put the cup Ooh, back down. I'm shit. Sure. That is hilarious. Ooh. All right. you know, I don't see how that works, but anyway. Yeah, uh, uh, can we, real quick, um, I just I'll answer a question from the feed real quick. Does anybody uh, Toya asked uh, the what's what's Russell oh, Russell's daughter's Anthony name? Simmons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did that just look like the oddest thing ever? Man. What happened? So she's twenty. Is she twenty one? Okay. This nigga like sixty eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's pictures that surfaced of them over the weekend and them kissing just, on out of out on vacation. So so they're like together for real. I just think a lot of times mamas be raising their daughters to be like them a little bit. Nah, hell. She ain't, she Kimora. She a baby Kimora. How, yeah, Kimora was young when they got yeah, together. She a baby oh, Kimora. Yeah, I forgot. So she dating a 60 something year old? Yeah, yeah. The pictures was out there, they kissing on the beach. They out of town, they out of the country somewhere or whatever. Yes, that's, that's, that's some pictures right there. Yeah, look at this. Look at look how it just look weird. Look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's insane. Too. <laughs> Somebody said that sixty five year old can have all that to himself. Yeah, nobody want none of that shit. Yeah, and so I saw somebody saying that you know she got an old soul because her her earbuds still got a, a cord. A cord on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's I, everybody. Everybody want to jump into this thing about being like, oh well, when guys do this, so just it's it's all oh it's, it's just weird, man. It's just. I, it, we really can't say anything about it because we it, we we keep that same energy with, with stuff like this. Or whatever, it's weird when guys do it. It's weird when women do it or whatever. And 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 when when I I it's uh, Corlisha actually brought it up to me first, and I'm like, well, no, she Russell Simmons' daughter, so she don't need money. Like she don't need money, so maybe it goes. Lean, it maybe it does lean more into what you said, Dev, where she's just being raised and she, and she gonna be just like her mom's, where it's like. like we can say uh, Russ was thirty five. She was seventeen when he started dating Kamora Lee. But this shit, this nigga was forty four when she was born. That's how old this nigga was to Aoki Lee Simmons. He what was forty four. Possibly having common nothing. Nothing. I was just talk- I was just talking about this a few days ago at work actually about how um, 
the, the separation gap of people is like five years now. Five years is too much. It's like at that point well, you listen that, to Chris Brown and Drake and shit. Well, probably. you know, me and my wife got got what nine? No, well, no, that's I mean, but it, it, I think it takes special situations. It, like one person either has to be a cool, like relaxed older soul, mm-hmm. or you got to be a nigga that like. I mean, I know this is trivial. That like like Drake and shit. I'm not talking about really, but yeah, like, you know, I don't. But it well, well it got to well, well, it yeah. got to be have some co- sort of meeting of the minds because the age gap now. Has shrunk. Yeah, of course, there's an exception to the rule. You all exception to the rule. But, like, for the most part, you start talking to somebody that was like graduated in, I don't know, 06, 07, and it's just like, I don't know what you talk about. You know, mm. period, every other sentence and shit like that. I, if it was anybody, I, yeah, I know. I, yeah, I, like, I it's, have, it's different. Yeah. Like, the, 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 the stereotypical. My mind don't move that fast no more. Yeah, like, if it was period, period. And in my what? And, uh, and did and is or whatever the fuck they be saying, and whatever and, and all that, all that <laughs> shit, man. All, uh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. do it. Yeah, I, it, it'll drive me insane. Yeah. So no. it would either have to be like y'all have a, a unique, you know, not unique, but y'all got a, a dope situation where that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, I don't know. Uh, I, I, that's just, nigga. Me. This is insane. Sixty-eight twenty-one is insane. Yeah, this that's is insane. Ridiculous. And, and yeah, and, and yeah, I was sixty-five and twenty-one. I was about to but, mention. Go ahead. But I'm not surprised by any of this shit. The stuff that go on in the world nowadays, especially, I ain't surprised by none of this shit. <coughs> none of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh. All right. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. Let's, let's 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 get up. Um. Again, once uh, thank you to everybody that 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 showed up every, last night and and yes. and and commented and 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 took part in the conversation and and danced to the music and sang along to the songs, all yes. of that stuff or whatever. When we say pot and R&B, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique experience. It's a, it's a unique musical experience. It really is, man. Mm-hmm. So we hope the new people that came last night have really had a good time. We hope to have you know see y'all again. And uh, and right now, it's going to be limited seats in that bitch, man. It yeah, is man. what it is, man. Yeah, so we'll tickets we, early. Yeah, when we put them tickets on sale for the next one, which we don't have a date yet, but when we put them tickets on sale, man, people better get them tickets, man, because it's yeah. going to be... It's gonna be is what it is, man. Yeah, but absolutely. all right, Playboy, give them all, give them all your shits. Yeah, man. At the end of the day, it's Playboy the DJ, Playboy D A D J. You can find me on uh, Instagram, Playboy underscore James three. You can find me on Facebook under my government. If you know me, then you know me. They know you. And you can find me on all DMSD World platforms, man. Once again, like you said, shout out to uh, y'all and and the whole team for Pioneer and B last night. So shout out to all the people that came out, man. It's a dope time. Can't wait for the next one, man. Great show. Catch y'all next time. Peace. Dev, give them all your shit. Man, it is Big Dev, man. Do what needs to be done, what needs to be done, whether you like it or not. Real Big Dev 216 everywhere. 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 Hey, before you do yours, we'll, we'll talk about after the show. Talk about after the show. After the show. All right, DMST16 at yahoo.com. Um, questions, comments, concern, feedback, all that good shit. Um, reach out to us, you know, let us know, um, whatever. Give it, give us the feedback on the show, man. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we 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 love we would love to hear from y'all, and we're going to get way more active on our social medias too, mm-hmm. man. Again, we yeah. know we're bad, but we'll we'll get way more active. I'll be posting on the Facebook, I mean uh, on our Twitter sometimes. I'm like, God damn it, mm-hmm. this shit is like uh, uh, what's what's the thing in the westerns back in the day oh, when the little yeah. thing, the little tumbleweed would be rolling across yeah. the street. Yeah, our shit be like, yeah, we don't be on Twitter at all. But anyway, or X, whatever they call it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it may. Oh shit, I ain't said this in my in my in my in my week thing, man. I got my new grill. God damn it. Oh, that's what's up. My grill got delivered. Oh, okay. Um, um, I, I, I can't wait to. When uh, you grilling, let me know. That's what I'm saying. Right. I can't wait. Like today would have been perfect. It would have. Because you, you gotta, you gotta do your pre. Yeah. The the pre burn and get everything you know baked mm-hmm. into it or whatever, so they don't you know burn up basically or whatever. But uh, and then the weather gonna kind of be iffy the next couple of days, whatever. But Just yeah, let, us, let, let me know. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll bring some. I got a large balls. enough grill. Yeah. <laughs> no Diddy? No Diddy. Uh, um, Meat for the grill is crazy. Yeah. Right. Uh, it was funny. I was saying last night when you was mentioning Paco's um, IG name. I'm like, no, I can't even say his IG name right now because we got we live in a, a whole new world. It was either pre-Diddy and post-Diddy. Yeah. And we're post-Diddy Post Diddy. Now. Post-Diddy <laughs> is, is, yeah, yeah. Paco be piping <laughs> is a crazy Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> he funny as hell, man. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, man. So I, I will let y'all know. I can't wait to sit there. I mean, I've been watching so many barbecue videos, man. Sitting I'm just, ready. Yeah, we old niggas now. I love it. I do the same shit. Yeah. Man, I can't wait, man. I, I mean, I was watching videos of them smoking meat. Whoa! <laughs> hey, just get. Hey, it be might be sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 
It might be smoking raining. meat sticks. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the sun will come out tomorrow. Come on, man. Let's get the sun will come out Let's get tomorrow. But as long as you are here <laughs> under the sun, live your life to the best of your mother. I think about to be smoking meat is fun. <laughs> Heard of. Yeah, <laughs> man. Uh, the sun will come out tomorrow, man. As long as you are here <laughs> under the sun, <laughs> live your life to the best of your motherfucking ability. <laughs> I am DJ Brainstorm for you on all social media. That is DJ, DJ Brainstorm, uh, the number four, the letter. Bet niggas better not go home watch Ooh. niggas smoke Spoke on meat. <laughs> <laughs> meat sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, we'll catch y'all next Sunday, Peace. man. We out of y'all. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>